But first, we're going to hear from Jeremy Miles, Minister for Education and the Welsh Language. Jeremy. Pronounced our conference, and it was with great pride that uh, I speak to you this afternoon as the first Welsh Labour Education Minister to address our conference in six years. <clears throat> Mae gan rhan fwy ohon o'n un yn y neuadd hon le uh, arbennig yn ein calon i addysg. Most of us in this hall today have a special place in our hearts for education. We know that education is the uh, greatest driver of social justice uh, and of an equal and prosperous society that we have. Many of us wouldn't be here without it. I know that I wouldn't be. Education changed my life. I had inspiring teachers who encouraged me challenged me, expanded my horizons. So conference, my priority is to make sure that our schools and colleges are enabling every one of our pupils to do their best and to be the best, whatever their background, whatever their circumstances, with our schools providing high standards and aspirations for all. But today conference, we know that the Tory cost of living crisis is a huge burden in our society. So what is our response? Well, we're putting labour values into action. On Friday, we announced that families will continue to benefit from free school meals over the school holidays. I want all children... I want all children and young people in Wales to have access to a healthy and nutritious meal in school and during the holidays. Conference, no child should be going hungry. And from September, we'll start to roll out our plans for every primary pupil in Wales to receive a free school meal during term. And today, conference, I'm announcing that every family that receives help with the costs of the school day, uniforms, gym kits, school trips, will have an extra £100 top-up on that support an additional £13 million to support those families who are struggling most. That is the difference a Welsh Labour government makes. And it's a Welsh Labour government that is the first in the UK to ensure every new build school will be net zero carbon. That has a plan to increase the number of black, Asian and minority ethnic teachers and leaders in our schools. That is providing the gift of a book for every child to encourage a love of reading, that's increasing funding to our youth work sector, that's increasing Welsh medium school places and delivering free Welsh language education lessons to all 60 to 25 year olds and all teaching staff to help deliver our goal of a million speakers. That's committed to the principle that higher education is available to anyone who can benefit from it at any point in their life and putting into law lifelong learning, which so many of us in our party cherish, such an important part of our history, and it will be an important part of our future again. Wales as a nation of second chances, where it's never too late to learn. <clears throat> and in September, we roll out our new curriculum, which will help make sure every child leaves school with the knowledge, skills, and experience they need for life. We'll be teaching all our young people the value of self-esteem, self-confidence, and what safe, healthy relationships look like. <clears throat> when I became the minister, I asked Estin to review uh, sexual harassment in our schools when we heard from girls and young women of their experiences. Their report makes it clear the scale of the challenge that we face and how important the new curriculum will be. I fully support the principles behind all three motions on this issue today. We'll ask conference to support the Cardiff South and Penarth motion, and we'll work with partners to explore the proposals in the other two motions, but don't for now feel able to support them as we roll out our VAUDA SV and RSE work in schools. And I'm proud that for the first time, every child will have access to an LGBT plus inclusive education. <laughs> conference. I'm the Education Minister, but I'm also a gay man, and I know what it's like growing up, struggling to work out your place in the world when none of your school life reflects your experience. Well, we can be proud, Conference, uh, that no child in Wales should ever, ever have that experience again. 
Now, we couldn't do this without our incredible teachers, teaching assistants, and our school workforce. And I want to pay a special tribute for the extraordinary work they've done in the last two years. Last month, we unveiled a plan to support our teaching assistants. This month, I'll be announcing additional funding to support the mental health and well-being of our school staff. And we are committed to giving supply teachers a fairer deal. I fully share the aims in the motion today. Not all of the actions proposed are within the powers of the Welsh Government, so it's been agreed to remit the motion. But conference, we'll be taking radical action to ensure that supply teachers are supported and are treated fairly. Conference, just as education can shape the course of an individual life, it can shape the course of a nation too. Gives us a chance to thrive together as a country. High standards and aspirations for all, a bilingual society, a nation of second chances. That is the education system we are building in Wales, and that is the education system that will help us build the stronger, fairer, greener Wales we want to see. Diolch